Welcome everyone to Crazy Country Couponers. And we're going to talk Walgreens by request. So if you're interested, take a moment, give the video a thumbs up, because you know you're going to like it. And get ready, share, 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 because you know your friends need this information because they need money in their pockets. And you want to be the one to put it there, because they're going to love you for it. So make sure you share this with them. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back, guys. And I'm so glad you came back to visit with me again. And as per requested, we got some Walgreens deals. And if you've not shopped Walgreens before, just hang in there. We can get you there. And if you are not a subscriber, take a moment and hit that subscription button and that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of these crazy country coupons, deals, steals, and glitches, because we be saving tons of money. Now, let's hop on in, because I know you guys already did the business while I was doing the business. And let's talk about good old Walgreens, or WAGs. Alright, if you've not ever couponed at Walgreens, you may be a little lost, but you might find... If you can follow with my instructions, that you can do this without a hitch. The first time I went to Walgreens did not work out very well. It discouraged me, but I went back like two weeks later, and the second time was DreamWorks, and I've been going back ever since. But I had to follow someone's scenario verbatim before it kind of clicked. So that's what we're going to kind of do. And I'm also going to show you what deals are going on. And tell you a little bit about couponing about Walgreens. If you've never couponed at Walgreens, there's a couple of deals. <clears throat> One is there is a book called the Big Book of Savings. When you walk in the front door, it's right next to these ads. Pick it up. These are a book full of store coupons that you can use with regular manufactured coupons. Okay? They stack on top of each other. So you want to pick that book up. It is good for an entire month. And, I mean, you can pick up one or two if you want. I usually end up with one every time I go in the store because I forget my other one. Uh, sometimes the cashiers want to try to keep that book. Just ask them to hand it back to you because it is full of very useful coupons for the entire month. Alright, the other rule of thumb at Walgreens is if you have a coupon that zeroes things out, sometimes it will not work. But give it a try. If you have a, um, oh goodness, just had a brain fart. <laughs> oh, no overage. Walgreens gives no overage. So if you have a coupon that gives overage, it's probably not going to work. If it does, lucky you. And the other thing is, senior day is, look at that, up to 30% off. I need to find out what day senior day is, guys. Let's see. On page 15 for details. We're going to find that out. 30% off, so if you do this deal on whatever day that is and you're a senior citizen, you're going to save 34%. That's even better. If you don't know what a booster is, a booster is Walgreens issues that give you points when you get a certain spin point. Walgreens has deals of the week, and it's detergent, paper towels, or shampoo. In this case, this week, it is the all detergent. And the Fruitress and the Scott, I think it's the... 375 for the Scott six paper roll. Yep, Scott and toilet paper is 375 with the dollar off coupon that is online. So they should be an online coupon for dollar 25 off of each one. So if you need that, that's a really good deal. But we'll tell you how to get it even cheaper. Now, first off, what you want to do to go to Walgreens is go to your Walgreens site, go to the coupons, and start clipping your coupons. And right now, we have two boosters on. And if you use the boosters before, you know. You want to use your smaller booster first. Because you don't want to lose either one of them. So, we have to use the smaller booster first. Okay, your bigger booster is for $30. We want to stay at $20 or $25 for your first booster. Because that's going to give you 5,000 points. Make sure you go in and clip these if they're still available to you. I sure hope you did. Because what we're going to hit first is the makeup that we kind of touched on with our paper coupons when we did our review. 
And that is right now. Let's see if I can get this over here for you. There we go. Revlon's got their eye makeup on sale six ninety nine. This is regularly twelve ninety nine, so it's already half price. But you're also going to get five dollars when you purchase two. And it says they have a two dollar coupon on the digital, or it says in most Sunday papers, don't clip the digital until after we get done using our paper coupons. The two dollar off in the Sunday paper is for the Alme. Not for the Revlon. The Revlon is a buy one get one free paper coupon that we have out of the Sunday paper. So you're going to take that with you, and on your digitals, if you if there's a Revlon coupon that says with card, you're going to clip it. If not, get that big book of savings. This coupon is in the big book of savings that gives you this makeup for six ninety nine. So, and in some cases, just having your account or your phone number is enough. But I always like to dot my I's and cross my T's. All right, so you're going to pick up. Let's see, let me get back over here. You are going to pick up four of these Revlon makeups. Four of these eye products. Hopefully, you got your coupons like I told you to, your newspapers, and you got two newspapers. You're going to pick up four of these products because you're going to buy one, get one free with your coupon. Now, four of these products at $6.99 is going to be $26. Oh, we're going to be really close to that $30 mark, guys. Let's have a look here. Because before tax, before taxes is thirteen ninety eight. Oh yeah, twenty seven dollars. We're close, but we're not there, so we're safe. You're going to pick up four, and always double check and make sure they're ringing up for the sale price. Because if not, this is not going to work. Because sometimes they don't ring up for the sale price. Um, and of course, like I said. You want to get that extra $5 booster for this, so you want to make sure that you're reaching the $20 threshold. So you're going to do this. You're going to reach the $20 threshold. You're going to go check out. You're going to put in your phone number, and then afterwards, you're going to give over your paper coupons. Now, what you should get in return is two $5 register rewards because you are buying Four products, and when you buy two, you get a $5 registry reward. So you should get two $5 registry rewards, and you're going to get 5,000 points. So out of pocket, you're going to be spending $27.46 before your coupons now. After your coupons, they're going to be spending $13.98. And then you're going to get... $10 in register rewards. Yeah, so now you're down to $3.98 for that makeup. And you're talking about four eye makeups. So stock up, get your variety, whatever. Get the eyeshadow as a gift for somebody. But buy it whether you need it or not. That's the bottom line because it's going to pay you to buy this makeup. So you in bottom line, you're going to end up paying $3.98 for four of these makeups. And actually, you're going to be making money because you're going to get an additional 5,000 points with your booster. Making it a $2 money maker. Yes. Alright, next transaction. And you can do these one right after the other. But your next transaction is going to be two of your Almay products. If you do not have any more Revlon coupons, if you got more Revlon coupons, burn it up. Do it till you can't do it no more. You might have to go to the go to the makeup counter, buy some at the pay for it at the makeup counter, go over to photo, pay for some at the photo, and then get back in line. But burn it up. But if not, 
go hit the Almay. Go pick up two of the cheapest, or two of the Almay that's on sale for the six ninety nine, and you've got two dollar off paper coupons for the Almay eye products. You're going to present two of those. That is going to. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not. We are not going to do. Oh, you can. You can do double, guys. Okay. All right. You can do double again. If This is, might be a little bit more out of pocket. But you can do these registry rewards as many times as you can afford them. Okay? You just got to do them as separate transactions. So we could do this same transaction again, I think. And come out right at 20. No, we can't. So stick with your smaller transactions because we don't want to go to $30 yet. We got another booster. Well, we might. Let's have a look. Let me do some quick math, guys. All right. So we, if we do the two Almay eye products, instead of six ninety nine coming off, only four dollars is going to come off of thirteen ninety eight. So we're looking at nine dollars and ninety eight cent. Okay, this is what you could do to pick up ten more dollars in registry rewards <clears throat> instead of just five more. Pick up two of the Revlon eye makeups that are on sale. Not Revlon, but the Almay. You've got two dollar off coupons for it. You also have two dollar off coupons for the Almay makeup removers. You're gonna pick up two of them. <coughs> You've got um you will have a total of seven ninety eight in your makeup removers, nine ninety eight in your eye makeup, a total of seventeen dollars and ninety six cents. And that's going to give you another $10 in register rewards. <coughs> Making that Almay makeup cost you just $7 for four. Again, use it as gifts. Um, eyeshadow, you've got mascara, eyeliner, makeup, little makeup kits. If you got teenagers, awesome. Save you tons of money, especially teenage girls, excuse me. <coughs> but you can either pick up two more Alme that will net you ten more or five more dollars, or you could pick up four Alme products and that will net you ten more dollars in register rewards for a seventeen dollar investment. Okay, that choice is yours, but we are going to go with my original, which is just two more Alme. That way, I don't have to do any more math. So, your second transaction will be two Alme products for $5.99, the makeup remover, because it's the cheapest. You have a $4 off, or actually two $2 paper coupons, and that's going to cost you $7.98 out of pocket, and you're going to get a $5 registry reward. That makes them two of them for $2.98. No brainer, guys. So now, you are you have gotten fifteen dollars in register reward coupons, and what a register reward is is a printed coupon that is good on your entire order. Uh, the thing is, though, if you're using a coupon for everything in your transaction, you must have an open item for the register reward to attach to. So if you have two register rewards, you got to have two open items, and it can be a candy bar. It doesn't matter. It just has to be an item that you do not have a coupon for. Okay, now you're going to have $15 in registry rewards going into your third transaction, guys. Yeah, that's why a lot of people don't like Walgreens. Doesn't bother me. Not one bit. Not when you see what comes out. Because I like saving money. Now, your next transaction is I could show it to you in the circular, but we're running heavy on time and I still want to get a Dollar General video up because I got some 
Pindy News. So stay tuned, guys. You want to check out that Dollar General video. Penny News with possible massive overage. Okay. Yeah. Heads up on that. You're going to go in and you're going to pick up two of the Crest toothpaste that you see labeled that they get $4 registry rewards. Because you have dollar off a dollar off digital coupon, and you have dollar off in the off the PNG of last week paper coupon. So you're going to get two of those. You're going to pick up two of your all pods. They are on sale this week. It's the deal of the week at Walgreens for a dollar ninety nine. We have two dollar paper coupons from last week's paper for the all pods. Let me see if I can find it. They're amongst all these coupons that I was looking through earlier and I came across it and I got so giddy and I probably lost it. I'm going to have to go through again because I don't want to waste the time to look for it. Just be it known, guys. There's a $2. It's right next to the dollar off all. It's a $2 off and it includes the pods. Paper coupon, last week's newspaper. So you've got that. You're going to have two of those. Remember I tell you all the time, two newspapers are good. Four newspapers are awesome. But we must have two, especially if you're going to do Walgreens. Um, so you're going to have one digital. And you're going to have one paper. Now if you want to go, if you like all detergent and you want to go with another one, you can go another one. Okay? As long as the coupon allows, read the verbiage, because some Walgreens are really sticklers about the verbiage. I have not read the verbiage yet on the coupon. But you do have one digital and one paper, so that will work. You'll pick up two of these. That's going to make these pods 99 cents each. You're going to pick up two Garnier Futress shampoos. They're on sale with card for $2.99. You've got a $3 off for two paper coupon. You're going to pick up four of the secret deodorants. I believe it's, I think it might be the Outlast on the coupon. You have a digital for buy one, get one free. And you have paper coupons out of the PNG for buy one, get one free. So you're going to pick up four. And your total for that is going to be 20 one ninety eight. You've got eleven ninety eight in coupons, and you're also going to get back four dollars in points. You're going to pick up four of the big Soleil razors. I told you, don't spend those coupons because they were going to come in handy. They're on sale this week on Walgreens. Buy one get one fifty percent off. That makes them um. Ooh, boy, I sure have the wrong amount down there. I'm going to have to go back and check my, fix that math, because that is the wrong total there, girls and boys. Let's see. Yes, the Big Soleil Razors are ten ninety six for two. Oh, yes, I don't know where I got that total right there. I am going to have to fix that. But you're going to pick up four of your Big Soleil Razors. Because they're buy one, get one 50% off. They're going to give you $3 in points. Basically, that's going to make them free. Okay? And the $3 in points is, of course, going to go into your Walgreens bank account. So let me fix this real quick. 1096. It was 2196. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. Whoa, boys and girls, I brought that up. Ten dollars. Okay. So let's correct that math all the way down. Down. So that brought that up ten dollars. So that's going to be sixty dollars. All right. So let's do this correction now. So five take away two is going to leave three. Okay. And there we go. That's the corrections all the way down. All right. So let's get back to what we were doing. 
total out of pocket is going to be $60.84 for these items. You've got $25 in coupons. You're going to put your phone number in. Your digitals will come off. Then you're going to hand over your paper coupons. And those will come off, leaving you with $35.84 out of pocket. You're going to get an $18 in points in your account, leaving you paying $17 for Crest, All, Garnier, Four Secrets, and Bic. So actually we've got 2, 4, 6, 14 items right here for $7 or $17. And you see what the items are. So, when y'all do the division, it's still really good. And on top of that, you have got a Ibotta rebate for the secret. So, when you add all this stuff together, you're out of pocket for your makeup. And for this last transaction, it's going to be $57.80. That is out of your pocket now that you're going to be spending. That's for 20 items. And you're going to have $18 still left to spend in your Walgreens bank. So we take $18 from now and we're going to see exactly how much money that you end up spending for these items. So we've got 9 here and you're going to end up spending $49.80 for 20 items. So we're looking at $2 and... Like five cent, maybe two dollars and five cent for each one of these items, and where that includes your Revlon makeup, your pressed toothpaste, and your secret. Your secret alone was six dollars a pop. So yeah, winner winner chicken dinner. At least I think so. <laughs> and like I said, you got eighteen dollars when you go back to Walgreens again to spend as you like. And if you spend it on things that give you points that say buy, because if it says buy, you can use points. Like buy two razors and get 10 points, you can use points and still get your points. If it says spend $10 and get so many points, you have to spend the $10. You can't use points for that transaction. Otherwise, you won't lose or get your points. Same way with a booster, uh, you will not get your points with that booster and as I said there's two boosters make sure you clip them one is for 6,000 on 30 and one is for 5,000 points on 20 make sure you have those clipped as well as any of coupons that we talked about for your Walgreens all right I hope that didn't open up a can of worms guys I hope you guys that are familiar it takes this information and runs with it if not, you can always do just like we do at the Dollar General. If you don't want to use your boosters but want to take advantage, let's say, of the Bic Razors, pop over, pick you up four Bic Razors. They're going to end up being free, and you'll have a little money in your account. Pop over, pick up your All Pot. You're going to be pretty cheap. You can break these up any way you want. But this way I presented it to you is a way for you to get more bang for your buck. You get your boosters. Oh, Excuse me, I even forgot. Where am I going? We haven't done anything with our registry rewards. We're walking around with $15 in our pocket of registry rewards, and we didn't even factor that in, guys. I almost forgot. We got $15 in registry rewards. This leads us paying <laughs> $2.84. Now, forget the chicken dinner. Get me the chicken restaurant where the chicken dinner came from, guys, because this is definitely the Super Duper Casino winner. You're going to get $60 worth of merchandise, and actually, yeah, $60 worth of merchandise for $2.84. And I tell you what, I know this looks crazy, and I hope you was able to follow along. Because, like I said, we're brainstorming as we go. 
It's been a little bit since I did the Walgreens. And this is what happens when I do it. I'll be going through and I get all these ideas and I have to redo it again. But what happens is when you get to this point and you have these register rewards, when you're handing over your coupons, hand over your register rewards if you want to use them to pay for this transaction. If you do not want to use them to pay for this transaction and want to save them for your next trip, be mindful of the date on them, okay? And keep in mind, you can use those registry rewards to go back and buy more makeup if you got coupons to get more registry rewards. <laughs> yeah, I tried to keep the video short. Didn't happen, guys. Sorry. But you see, Walgreens is awesome. You see what you can do. And also, on those registry rewards, if you do this on registry rewards, uh, let's see, we've got two. Yes, you can do... You will have to pick up one more. You have to pick up a candy bar if you do this on registry rewards because you have two items here that do not have coupons that two of them can attach to, but you will need one more item for that third registry reward to attach. So hopefully you understood all this, and you'll be able to go out and get this scenario, this haul, for $2.84. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, blessings. And thank you if you stayed all the way to the end of the video. I tried to be quick. We'll talk again in a bit.